Hello everyone and welcome to a new topic in security. Uh, our topic today is email phishing. What? Email phishing. Do you know what is email phishing? Can you make a guess? Usually when someone sends you an email claiming to be a legitimate company in an attempt to take your personal information that is called email phishing so in order to uh, train you today to identify phishing email you will have to complete a lab which is the second lab uh, in security so to get started you will need to go to blackboard and access the learning unit that has this lab so I already signed into Blackboard and I accessed the course link uh, learning module week 2 and then I will go to lab and then I will scroll all the way down here and then there is a quiz here so I will go ahead and click on this link to take the quiz by the way you don't see the video now I will upload the video once I finish this uh, video recording and then post it here so you should be able to listen to the instructions step by step by playing the video uh, which is going to be connected to SL2 uh, security lab number two so you will click on uh, on the quest to take it there is no way that you can put your uh, name or email address but we will uh, put that at the end after we finish I need you to just uh, read this first please before you start go ahead and read fishing facts I will give you a minute to complete it please pay attention and see this is a, a serious matter right now also please before you start the quiz you need to read this scenario here and uh, in the instruction sections it tells you step by step what you need to do you need to uh, look at the email read it try to uh, make like an assumption if the email is a phishing email or is the email is a legitimate email so uh, before we get started with this lab this lab is either passed or failed so you have to answer all of them correct if you don't answer them correct you can take the quiz again and again and again until you see green check mark on each item that you completed so let's go ahead and uh, please make sure that you read the helpful hints as well before you get started at the bottom of each email on the status bar there is the URL of the active link right now the second one for this test assume that you are John Doe right or Jane Doe and you are receiving this email in your inbox are you ready to get started okay good let's go ahead and start this lab so I will go ahead and start the test so uh, what is the status bar that was mentioned in the helpful hints this is the status bar here do you see it this part here so look at this part and try to be very careful and see if this is coming from PayPal or from something else or someone else look read here read the uh, name read the body make sure that you you look for uh, spelling errors grammar errors uh, try to uh, make a sense of the email will your paypal account or your bank account send you information to ask you about your password or your pin number so once you make this assumption make a guess and then try to answer 
if you see this email as a phishing email you choose phishing if you see it as legitimate you choose legitimate I will make a guess here and then I will click next question uh, for the sake of this recording I don't have time to answer all of them and read all of the emails and look at the from and then look at to and then look at the subject and then try to check the spelling and go all the way down to look at the address of my bank and if my bank is asking me to reveal personal information or not I will let you answer each one of them uh, you need to choose either legitimate or phishing so I will keep going I will keep going if you need to go back to the previous question you go back but uh, you have 10 questions you need to answer all of them you need to choose if it is legitimate or uh, phishing so I will keep uh, moving forward and then at the very end once you click on a uh, finish quiz it will tell you here if you answered all of them correctly or if you made any mistake so let's say I answer the first one correct and I need to find out the explanation for my answer so here it is explaining you to you step by step so you need to read the explanation for each one of them and then take the quiz again so to take the quiz again you click on start over so if you answered all of them and they are all correct it means that you will get full points for this lab if I if you have only one one result with red X like that you will get zero for the entire lab I think that's fair you start over and then you keep taking it again and again and again until you get 10 out of 10 all of them must be correct if you have only one single mistake you will get a zero which means that you need to read each one of them and find out the explanation why it is legitimate or why it is phishing email and then you start over until you get all of them correct so once you have all of them correct with green check mark you will start submitting this you, you take a screen capture of your quiz and then you put your name on top of it so I, I know this is you your, fir your first name and your last name and then you submit it to blackboard if you don't know how I will show you now step by step so let's say I already have green check mark for all of these which means I am sure once I upload this file I will get a hundred if again I'm saying it again if I see only one red X you will get zero for the entire lab so we need to use the snipping tool does anyone remember how to use the snipping tool so I will go back to the metro view and then I will type snipping and then I will open the snipping tool if I don't get the uh, cross cursor I click on new and then I start snapping or taking a snip uh, a capture or a snip out of my screen that displays the entire part which shows your answer as you see it on the screen as you see it right now do you see it this range I need this range and then I need you to start uh, typing look when I click on the uh, highlighter it's giving me a highlighter when I click on the pen it's giving me the uh, pen but I need to make sure that I have black I will choose black or you can choose a custom uh, pen but I will choose just the black pen and that will be enough so I need you to uh, type your first name and your last name so I completed this quiz I will go ahead and type here my first name All right and then my last name I know this is difficult but this is a, a good way to teach you how to draw on an image All right that's it
So now I know this quiz is your quiz. All right? And you go ahead and click on the save snip. And once you click on save, you will type here fishing quiz or fishing lab because this is a lab and then click on save but make sure that you save it in a place that you can access later on so I will click on pictures to make sure that I choose the location for my pictures and then the extension will be uh, PNG that's fine and then I will click on save now I already saved my image I will go to blackboard click look now you don't take the quiz again you don't click on the link for the quiz anymore you click on the name of the lab which is SL2 you click on it and then uh, you go to your second part of your lab here which is assignment materials you click on browse Do you see browse here and then you choose fishing lab and then click open this will attach the image to the lab and then at the very end you have to click submit in order to let your file uh, upload to blackboard so to make sure that you already uploaded the file you will see here submission or re review submission history you will see the attached file if you click on it it should display the image that you just uh, submitted so this is how to uh, submit your lab okay now uh, let's say once you are done you click on okay if you made a mistake I will show you one one other way to uh, type on the uh, image what is my image my image is located inside the picture folder so I will go to picture and then I will go to fishing lab right click on it and then I will choose edit all right uh, see my name my name is doesn't look really uh, very nice so if you need to use the typing tool or the text to insert text here you click on text and then click here and now look when I type I will type here Nasser and then Maksud so instead of doing or typing your name in a way that looks like uh, a first grade student in a primary school try to make it look professional like that and then you can highlight it make it bold change the font to make it maybe let's say uh, 14 if the box doesn't fit you click on the edges and then expand it a little so that's basically how you put your name so now instead of putting your name the way you see it here I need you to put your name in a nice format right like that so your name should look like that and should not look like the old way I just showed you and once you finish you have to save I will click on save and then close so now I will go back to blackboard and now I'm teaching you if you decided to submit your lab more than one time I will make sure to look only at the most recent submission you can sub submit your lab more than one time I will go ahead and click on start new submission and then I will click on browse computer fishing lab open as we did do you see the name yes the name is here and then you click on uh, submit once you click submit as you can see here you have two attempts look I will only look at your last attempt so if you submit your lab more than once I will only look at the most recent submission which is going to be this one and you will see here that it has the name so I expect you to submit the image with all green a check mark not a single red X to get your grades and I see your name if you miss your name or if you have any red X you will not get any points for this lab you don't have to put the name as you see it here in blue just put your name in black and uh, I will um, have you look at the 
first submission as well which is attempt number one and I will show you the difference between them look at the first one this is not a college level submission so you should not submit your uh, image as you see it here I need you to put your name in a nice format and that's basically how you uh, submit this lab and uh, in the future if I ask you to submit any image using the snipping tool and maybe I will ask you to edit or change the dimension so if I go back to uh, the image I just created here I can go to fishing lab and then right click on it and then I choose edit I can go uh, I, I already have this in a lab but I'm showing you if I ask you to change the dimension you go to resize and then click on pixels remove maintain aspect ratio and then let's say I would like to make this image 250 by 250 and then click OK this image will take a size of 250 by 250 then click Save uh, if you'd like to resize your picture you can resize your picture the same exact way because once once you get to Google Plus and uploading your profile uploading your profile image you will do the same thing I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I will see you in the future. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.